I'm Sam Bird. I'm the project manager of the Rock Crusher project and also co-leader of the appropriate technology design team uh, in Engineers Without Borders. Uh, we're trying to develop a uh, device to uh, take rocks and produce appropriate sand for slow sand filtration. And in our early prototypes, we found that softer rocks and rocks that um, broke apart too easily um, produced sand that was not appropriate for slow sand filtration. The softer rocks uh, produced uh, dust which clogged up the slow, slow sand filtration process and uh, we found that the harder uh, igneous and metamorphic rocks produced appropriate sand and the softer rocks uh, took up energy uh, that was usable to produce appropriate sand and took up that energy so we got less efficiency so we're trying to eliminate the softer rocks and only use harder rocks. So we're, we're sorting rocks, we're trying to figure out what rocks will produce uh, appropriate uh, sand and next we will uh, then put the rocks that we think are good or appropriate into the uh, rock crusher and try to uh, uh, mill down, getting uh, sand in enough volume to be usable in a, a, a rock crusher in the Philippines or Africa. Okay, we're, what we're trying to do is sort out rocks that are going to be appropriate for a, a rock grinding, rock crushing uh, process uh, in order to turn them into uh, fil uh, sand filters. Um, we have, uh, we're looking for a harder rock that will break up into the appropriate size uh, such as hard rock like this uh, and avoid the softer rock pockmark that breaks up e easily like this because this produces too much uh, just dust and silt uh, for what we need. Yes, like we say, we get this mixed rock from our local garden supply store and we don't really know what's in it. It's always got some mud and it's got some soft rocks and some hard ones, some things that are too small and some too big. And so for this set of experiments we want a model set of rocks and so we're going to extra trouble to wash them and sort them and in the field when people are looking to crush rocks with this kind of apparatus they would actually have one area in a stream bed or in a rock quarry which has the same kind of rock and they would just shovel it in and so we'll call these model experiments. Uh, some of the things that we look for in the rocks, uh, the best rocks are the ones that are quartz, a little translucent figure or um, rock color to it and uh, those will be the hardest and then we also want to look for porosity, um, how they're layered and that'll let us know if they're going to break apart easily. Because scratch them on a metal plate, if it scratches the metal plate then it's harder than that and that's a good thing. If it crumbles when you strike it with a hammer or crush it between pliers then chances are it's made up of something like sandstone which is sand crystals which we like but they're bound together by mud particles and it's the mud that clogs up so okay. slow sand filters. <laughs> the other thing that we try to avoid, but we don't have expertise here, is uh, rocks which may contain uh, potentially hazardous materials. And so as material water runs through a slow sand filter, it leaches the rocks apart. And the rocks that we're choosing here aren't likely to leach anything. Uh, things that might be leached would be, say, selenium or arsenic or, or things like that, which are present in some rocks, but not many. Yeah, it doesn't take long for people to become experts at rock sorting. It's it's not rocket science, it's just rock science. <laughs>